Bonsoir to the monde. Welcome back to Tom Plays EU4 for Absolute Beginners. We're back with France and we are trying to establish a presence in South America. One way or another. So, a few other things obviously, other colonies are going on, but predominantly. We're hopefully going to form a Peruvian nation and we're kind of plotting to try and form a Brazilian nation as well. Naval supplies, Louisiana, fairly sure we've already taxed them, so let's not. So right, so we're going to have half an army in each location, at least for now. Might end up holding off on the war until the Peruvian nation has already established themselves. In which case we're going to have a full army up here to fight Britain and Brazil. This army is going to have to go over to Great Britain. Not sure what to do with the African army. I suppose in theory they could go down there and fight Brazil down there. Or we could bring them up to deal with the Papal States, but then if we do bring the Ottomans in, they will probably deal with that for us. So, I suppose we shall see. So yeah, speaking of which, let's improve relations. Some allies. Still going, fair enough, might just spin time on again, give time for the nation to form. We have a new quality idea. That isn't that useful, to be fair. <laughs> We're not that far ahead of time either. We're only on plus 25%, so we might be better off just keeping going for a military tech. French California has declared war. That's not entirely safe. Although there is quite a small... Group. <laughs> I'm just thinking French California isn't that big themselves. That's all. Maybe I should be subsidising them if I'm not already. But I surely should be subsidising them if I'm not already. Oracle. Oh, right. Destroy the temple. Oh, great. <laughs> Why are we doing that exactly? Just what being mean for the sake of it, right? Okay, right, so we mostly want more claims on Brazil, so I think we've already taken this one. So let's. Oh, maybe we've taken both of them. Yeah, mostly concerned about South America at the moment. It would be great to start into South Africa, but right now. Getting a colonial nation fully established and as big as possible. I know in theory we only need one more province. Potentially we could even just take this one. But we do want to establish them as well. Okay. How are we doing with these cores? Getting there? Getting there? Okay. I don't like it. Colony. Right, so we've got 
a working colony up here. That's good. Just keep that going. Should be fine. I don't mind making a state. I'm not making it a core, of course. Diplomat in Great Britain has been caught. Can we make a claim? We can. Let's ignore them and make one down here instead. So I guess we'll go for that one. Okay, not pulling the spy out. Wondering if it. Hmm. Would be worth going for this nation. I'll build a spy network anyway, just in case. Would allow them to form, I suppose, but we're still not gonna, <laughs> we're still gonna have to fight Brazil and Great Britain anyway. You gotta remember as as well as wanting to form the nation in the first place. Hmm. Spies being caught all over the place. Excellent. Not what you want. As well as forming the nation in the first place, we will only get an extra trader once they get up to 10 provinces. So we ultimately want a 10 province nation. So for any nations which are surrounded by occupied lands, we don't have, really have any choice but to fight. Obviously we'll probably have a bit more help if they're involved. I think we need to call these properly. Let's work out what they are. Lima. Uh, Cusco, of course. Not enough. Okay. Still not enough. Um, I'll just do, they can do things on their own because we're a trading nation. Come on. Okay, apparently, oh, oh, there we are, French Peru, finally, great, 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 all right, in theory there are two places they can colonise, so if we could just get a diplomat back, we could start subsidising them, so let's just not worry about Bohemia too much, you can always get back to them, because I want to subsidise California as well. Point three. Oh, convenient. I'm just going to come up here to subsidize French California. Do we have a conquistador? We do. Good. In that case, we can explore this land. Rather than coming into unnecessary conflict down here. One, two, three. Plus, I would like to kind of open this area up a bit. Actually, we can just send a colonist here. That's fine. I'll just send you over to join the colony. You will unveil that land as well, and then we can join you up later. Right. Brilliant. So, French California. I also want to subsidize you. point something again. Yeah, we're doing pretty well for money really. No more loans. In fact, do we have any plus threes? But a decent. Uh, well, I do like prestige. Well, let's get the yearly inflation down. And I'm going to go diplomatic reputation again. Where does that leave us? Plus 43. That's pretty good. Okay, what do you guys want us to do? Magnificent House of Worship, no issue there, they want Aragon, not right now, Spice Islands of the East, want a trade port in the region, right, they all sound a bit complicated apart from the pastors, so let's do the Magnificent House of Worship in Barcelona, which we should be able to do immediately anyway, here we are, so they'll want 
the best church we can do. So that'll be a cathedral. Looks like we've already got a church. That'll keep them happy. And it'll bring some money in, so not a bad thing. Right, so we've got a new trader, I'm guessing, new merchant. I'm guessing that will mean that one of our colonies has just hit 10 provinces, which is brilliant. So if we go back to the trade map, we need to just work out where the best place is to send them. So we don't have anyone in Bordeaux at the moment. I think that's largely because we entirely own Bordeaux, so I didn't think we really needed them. Uh, Panama. We don't have someone in Panama, so that would make sense. I mean, granted, they're only sending things to the Caribbean anyway. But... That's fine, let's send them there. So we want to transfer trade power, as usual. So they're just going to be transferring even more power out of there. Okay. Should give us more money anyway. Which is the main thing. So we now do have all plus three advisors, which is what we wanted. So we should be thinking about improving the navy and the army. Especially this army, which is going to be going into Great Britain. What can we do in terms of both? Well, I definitely got room for a few more troops, if nothing else. So how about if we just make a few more cannons? A few more artillery, I don't really need people attaching to me now. Maybe three more. Three more down there. And I'm not sure what options we actually have down there, so we may have to make them all here. Which is fine. I'm probably going to be bringing that army up anyway once we've put down the inevitable rebellion, for which we will need a general. I would think... Okay, technology. We have the new military tech, which is good. <sighs> Cartridge, guessing that means we change our artillery type. Brilliant. Right, the other thing we were going to do, <laughs> while I still remembered, was we were going to do a bit of exploration around Australia. We do also want to improve our Pacific Navy. But it is. They have an explorer, so let's go down here. Okay, apparently they're not willing to head the obvious way around. I was thinking if we at least get an idea where we're going. So we've actually got quite a lot of ground to make up here. Spain has already started colonising. There are some very important trade nodes out here. I think Malacca especially is important. So we would love to start making some colonies over here before anyone else does. There are some options there. Don't know if we'll have a chance before Spain. There's a lovely big island here. This whole area here would be a great base and there are a whole bunch of islands up here. And once that's all done, we can actually start colonizing Siberia. <laughs> Which will put us into competition with Russia. If they formed. Could still be Muscovy or any of the other people but anyway let's just explore a little I'm still kind of expecting an uprising in French Peru although I suppose they do have their own country now but in any case I kind of want to get more claims as well improve our spy decide what to do with the armies. So not in a huge hurry just yet. I definitely do not want to mess this up. 
What's this one? Diplomatic ideas. Helps us improve relations faster. That sounds useful, and it's not as important to keep up with the diplomatic tech. So, seeing as we've got a free person, let's improve relations with Bohemia again and finish that one off this time. What do we have? Right, let's spin on. Should have another claim down here now. Nope. No, we don't. <laughs> We've already got too many. Right, that's fine. Okay. Move you over. Make you a single army. formed. Not sure whether to try to take this nation first. Because it should be fairly easy and it might even allow, well it should allow, a nation to form. New leader, okay. I would rather stay out of their affairs. Thank you. Oh, brilliant. This is Australia again. Okay, sorted. Right, so we're making good progress in Australia. Only one province away from having a nation. At which point, again, we will subsidize them and then move on to other colonies. So that should be fine. Finished that estate. Finished making friends with Bohemia. So we might be able to start on Scotland next. They're still an ally, aren't they? They are. It could actually be quite useful. Could If we can get Scotland involved, we'll certainly only need one army up here. Great Britain's a lot less formidable than they were in any case half expecting Scotland to make their own move on them. This African nation isn't really needed. I kind of feel like if we bring the Ottomans and or Bohemia in, we probably don't need an army in France. So would we be better off with an army down there? Or we'd be better off bringing another army over to South America. <sighs> decisions, is decisions. Spin on for a bit. there I think. I'm not really expecting to take too many in one go. Barcelona. Mm, I'm gonna ignore them actually. Not too worried. Seen as I'm kind of resigned to having armies down here on a semi permanent basis, I think maybe we will try and take it. It's a small country. Inca has declared war on French Peru. I see. Oh, isn't that interesting? Right. 
<laughs> right. Okay. Well, that may change things enormously then. I'm going to enforce peace again. I can't do that without a diplomat. I've got a diplomat. Oh, right. I've got to say who. Confirm. Excellent. We are now at war again with the Inca. So, yep. Yeah. Change of plan. That army I was happily ringing over is now going down here. Probably wasn't your smartest move, guys. <laughs> See, and here's me expecting an uprising. We are outnumbered and outgeneraled, but we probably do out-tech them considerably. So I probably shouldn't be too nervous. Plus, of course, this time we have two colonial nations on our side. Right, right, France, excellent. Right, I'm going to start on the castle. that land first seen as it's apparently on the way. You can head straight for the castle. And then we'll join the two armies together. <laughs> Great. Apparently this is going to keep going until uh, there's nothing left of the Inca. Oh. Might as well send our navy out as well most of it. Oh yeah, good grief. <laughs> right. So we can get her as a skill 2 disciplined person. I do prefer to have skill 3. Keep her singing gives us prestige. I do like prestige. But she might be a good general, so let's make her a general. In terms of reunion. Okay, what does that do? It gives us a claim on everywhere. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of those. Let's make the claim. Sounds good. I probably can't make her the new general here just yet. Got some new mercenaries. That castle is falling. What do we have in the plus threes? Not a lot. Spy network construction. I mean, it's useful. But I wonder if I'd prefer trade efficiency, honestly. Considering how much, you know, it's going to cost us. Capital. I don't think we need to worry too much about this. Might possibly start subsidising Columbia again, though. Oh, of course. Yeah, we left our uh, navy there, didn't we? Just to make mincemeat of their navy. Okay, brilliant. So I'll just leave a navy there, actually, because they're presumably going to take this land as well. This is definitely going to push back all the plans. In fact, thinking of that, we should be making some more claims on Great Britain. What options do we have? Excellent. Okay. Maybe try and get one more. And who's this? That's Milan. Navy's sorted someone else out. In 
fact, they should probably be moving along the coast, but maybe I should give them a chance to recover. First, because they've had two battles already. I'll tell you what, let's put her here. Yeah, so she's an extremely good general. Definitely worth having. And Milan. What claims can we make on Milan? Only one now. So we can pull that spy out. That's kind of what I was thinking. I think I'm getting to the end of my main spying now. Healing. I can probably start improving relations with a load of people. Might just go through all our subjects actually. Okay, lost another advisor, so let's go for reinforced speed. I know discipline would probably have been better for actual combat, but... I want to keep the tech going. Alright, let's do some improved relations with some of these. Just those two up there. Maybe Florida as well. Keep one handy for making peace. So, fruits and increased flavour. Okay, great. Diplomat's been discovered, that's annoying, and we've won the siege. Okay, cool. How are we doing down here? Pretty good. Actually, pretty good. So, not going to worry too much. Might want to pull the diplomat out. Did we have a claim up here already? Hmm, huh. don't think we did. Well, maybe I will keep it going, because it would be nice to take something in Britain itself. Although, yeah, I suppose more concerned about Brazil, really. But we're not desperately short on diplomats anyway. So, I won't worry too much. Let's bring this navy back over. the leader of the Incas. So we execute them, which gives us a claim on everything. Or we can keep them as a hostage, which still gives us a claim on everything. Alright. one of these is less evil to be honest. Um, I'll keep him as a hostage. I'm certainly pleased to have the claims. I wonder if we should be ending the war and just leaving them to deal with the uh, mess they're in. Right, anyway. Keep these going. I'm determined to form another Canada and then go back to those guys and um, have a little word of them. Might as well let this fort fall in any case.
Okay, what would happen if we made peace at this point? France, 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 lots of stuff, and apparently they're not actually going to accept it, which is odd, given that it was what was suggested. Alright, oh, there's one particular place, is it, where we're not occupying a fort. Well, I can certainly help with that. Okay, merchants are too successful. We're going to upset Nuremberg. I don't care. <laughs> Never been particular allies of ours, I don't think. limes, got an improvement in our heavy ships and in our transport ships which is good. We are full up on admin tech. Okay so this would actually well, normally I'd say this would be a great time to make peace because we're going to want to core a load of provinces, but it's quite likely that we won't actually have to core any of them ourselves. So maybe we shouldn't worry about that and we'll just plough a little bit of development into London. There we go. Bring us closer to being able to do a manufactory there. Or whatever building I was trying to do, university. Great. I <laughs> really need some of these colonial nations to form. This list of things we could core and actually don't want to is getting a bit out of hand. I think there might be some in there that we ought to be doing. Notice things have started to get quite easy now as we've become richer and richer. Okay, let's see what peace looks like now. Suggest demands, goes to French Peru. Okay, let's try sending them. I have a feeling that this will become um, La Plata, so we do want to call those. They're probably the ones with overextension next to them. So let's start them off and we'll actually put our army here as well. Is there anywhere that can take the whole army? Apparently not. So we might even want to think about taking this area. Let's bring our navy over as well. So in theory we're now subsidising both of those people. The Inca will hopefully think twice before attacking. We've gained another merchant, basically because French Peru just became massively enlarged. And I'm just going to try and settle the issue. So where do we want to put the new merchant? Which will again make us even richer. So if we know Bordeaux, there's Lubeck and Brazil. More in kind towards Brazil, really. There's Lubeck, this is Lubeck. So that would be moving trade probably over to the English Channel. Actually, no, that's pretty useful. That is pretty useful because it brings it into our sphere of influence. So we send someone to transfer trade power in Lubeck. 
Okay, I'm not even going to check on the results of that. We really do have so much money. Which is good. Which means we really need to be enlarging our armies and navies. It only feels like we've got so much because we're not as powerful as we should be. Oh, interesting. Okay, let's pause for a second. Right, now this I wasn't expecting when we weren't taking land from the Holy Roman Empire itself. We actually have a coalition. State and Chactimal. Right, so this can happen quite easily as France. <laughs> Although, usually. Oh, this is good. Right, so Naples, we started, has actually left. Usually, this happens when you're attacking the Holy Roman Empire. Let me just pause for a second so I can go into this. Um, it usually means that your aggressive expansion has got too high. So we look at what Naples looking at, their opinion of us. Yeah, we don't have any aggressive expansion. Oh well, weird. So it actually shows up over here. This is the target of the coalition and this is everyone who's in it. So when this happens, it's time to panic because you could end up in a war that even as France, you can't win. Although as France, you do have a chance of getting powerful enough that you can actually fight off a coalition, especially when it's just the Holy Roman Empire. So what I would normally do is frantically send diplomats to everyone in the list and improve relations with them because if they like us enough, they cannot stay in the coalition. I'm going to send an improved relation to Denmark at least. But I have a feeling, oh yeah, it's only Austria in it now, so it's a coalition of just Austria, which is not scary at all. And now even they've left. Even if they're your enemies, they will leave as things calm down. So it's it's usually the result of having taken too much land at once, especially from Holy Roman Empire, because they are very touchy up here. It basically puts your aggressive expansion really high. I mean, I'm guessing we'll have some down here at least. There we are. So you see in their opinion of us, we've got aggressive expansion. And that improves... <laughs> because it's a negative value, it uh, it increases, which makes it better. Plus 3.6 yearly. So the longer you can hold on without actually getting into a war based on the coalition, the less chance there is of it happening. Because people will start to drop out. They've all got different opinions of you. And as time goes on, they'll calm down. They'll get less scared that you're out to destroy everybody. And they'll start to drop out one by one. And the less people in the coalition, the less dangerous it is. But what basically happens is everyone joins the coalition. If one person decides to invade you, which is very likely because often your enemies will jump on the bandwagon, everyone in that coalition will all join in in war. You'll often find the allies will abandon you because there's just no winning it. And uh, yeah, you'll usually find you're forced to make peace at ruinous cost. You'll have to hand the back land that you spent 50 years accumulating and it's just a disaster. So I'm not really sure what happened with that one because we didn't really have any aggressive expansion in the area people formed coalitions. You know, if Brazil had formed one, it would have made more sense. Okay, yes, we have tons of money. Let's try and improve conditions. That's good. That makes everyone a bit richer. It does make me sort of think twice about attacking them, but no one really likes them. I just think it'd be worth adding these to the burgeoning La Plata nation. That will give us a third, technically fourth nation down here. Speaking of which, we were going to attack over here to form Brazil. Which I don't think would be a bad idea still. I might head up and do that. This is actually going to look a lot better then. So we're going to have a La Plata, we're going to have a bigger 
Peru. We've got a bigger French Colombia, and hopefully, if we take here, we'll form a very small Brazil. But it will mean we have four nations to help us when we're fighting Great Britain and Brazil. Which would not in any way be a bad thing. So at risk of setting off that coalition again. Still no idea how it actually triggered. But it was useful because, you know, meant I could discuss them at least. Some, um, I've been more reckless in the past playing France and also more successful but it has meant coalitions forming and it's always very dicey when that happens you sort of get very nervous and tread very carefully um, I might take Darby oh can make another one okay Scarborough as well Brilliant. Okay, so with that in mind, I think we probably do have enough money to improve our navy. Actually, armies as well. We have a lot of room for improvement. So, seeing as we just got new war galleys, not war galleys, new heavy ships and transport ships, let's make a lot of them. So our new heavy ship is the two-decker. We do need to build... Oh, good grief. Never mind. We do need to build the Pacific Navy as well. But given I'm thinking about an attack on Great Britain, it wouldn't hurt if we were more powerful than them. Which we may be already. But we can be doubly so if we improve our navy up here. So, so it's actually still the navy that's hanging around South America. But what I'm thinking is we can add a bunch of uh, the most modern. Oh, good grief! We've lost another air. again what age this time 23 <laughs> Louis done quite well for having uh, kids must have had three brothers excellent right well we do have quite a bit of admin power actually so we might be able to just raise that stability immediately this is the advantage of having plus Plus three advisors. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get a keep on plus three stability. With all the benefits we get from that. Okay, so back to where we were before the Inca so rudely interrupted us. We have a claim. Honestly, I think if we didn't do it, then Brazil probably would. Still Conquistador, that's probably fine. We had a spare general anyway. Oh, right, okay. Nova Alondia. problem for another day. Apparently all our generals are randomly dying. Fortunately not the ones we're actually using. <laughs> so yeah this is probably going to be the last thing for today originally deliberating about attacking Great Britain and Brazil today but thanks to the Inca that has been put back well, they should at least allow us to form 
a Brazilian nation. So if we subsidize them, even though they're not able to colonize, so in fear of no reason to, it might help them to become a little more powerful and a bigger help. I'm just gonna annex them. Too worried about conversions. I just want to make them a part of us. Excellent. We should be working on our final colony in Australia now, after which we can leave them. Well, we can subsidise them heavily and leave them to do their own colonising, hopefully. Although we could do with exploring still. Oh, brilliant. Excellent, so we formed French La Plata. So we're going to give you subsidies. Might go up to 3.41. <laughs> Question if even that's a bit too stingy to be honest, given how much money we actually possess. But it's not bad for a country in its infancy and hopefully they will actually start sending colonists out themselves before long. If nothing else, they should be able to gear themselves up a bit better for a potential upcoming war. Louisiana's attacking Caddo. I really hope they know what they're doing. So French Louisiana isn't huge themselves, but... look all right to be fair. Measuring the world. <laughs> Getting incredibly ahead on admin tech. Oh we've got the uh, has the enlightenment hit. I don't think it has has it? We should be building more universities actually for when it does hit. So, can, with that in mind, let us build a bunch. Can't build any of there. So, this is a little like the manufacturers again. Basically, the Enlightenment will show up anywhere that has a university. The one advantage of universities is, I believe, they give you an extra building so they don't actually use. A building space up as long as you have space to make them in the first place which in London of course we don't however we do have room in other English provinces okay don't want to just do those do Cameroon Rain Coast. I was fussed about those because we don't have as many people down there. And possibly not the islands either. If we had a proper presence over here, like that was going to stay ours, I would build one here as well. But as it is, I'm going to leave it. Okay, apparently we've fulfilled a mission. Unite Home Region? Nope. Uh, recover Calais. Apparently we have not done that yet. Or Flanders, conquer Burgundy. Nope. So what have we actually done? Oh, French naval power, of course. Grief, that took a while. Discover North America. Okay, that improves our colony chances. Bases in North America. Yep, we've done that. Colony expansion, we've done that. Oh, excellent. 
Incredibly, we haven't done that. Is that those claims we just got? Have I just got a couple of claims that are going to turn out to be temporary? And I need to axe on them immediately. I know this happens with Great Britain. I think with India. Okay, so Arica. Let's just check this. Oh, right. Okay, so unless I misread them, hopefully they're just South American claims and we don't need to worry. I'm just worried about the whole East Indies thing. East Indies suggests we're going east rather than west. Hmm. Minor concern. Yes, we do. The question is, are these permanent claims or not? So where's a Danke? That's presumably the one I got wrong. Danke, I had no idea that France got a claim against India. We should take advantage of that. That's going to be another change of plan. Wonderful. Okay, so we'll worry about that next time. Um, But yeah, certainly what I remember is Great Britain having a claim of that type. Okay, well none of these look particularly French, so I'll just go for a generic one. Which I think is light line infantry, and there's probably a cavalry one. Latin Hussars, Latin Dragoons, and Arm Blanche. Well that definitely sounds French, let's go for that. Arm Blanche. Right, great. Okay, We're running a bit over here. Need to fabricate this claim. Stop building the spy network. I think these guys are trying to make peace with Britain. Let's get our best general on the case. But let's wait until she's had a chance to recover a bit. We should also bring these around as a naval blockade. Pause. Okay. I mean, that's good. That's definitely good. We should be forming a colonial nation there any second. So, doing pretty well. Well, not any second, but <laughs> in a bit. Uh, and we declare war on these guys. Excellent. Oh, French Antarctique, that will be Cascada. Got a piece off, uh, that's fine. Actually, it won't be. Antarctic, they'll be down here. Oh, they're not already. For no, this is French La Plata. French Antarctique. Oh, is that Brazil? It is Brazil, sorry. Right, excellent. So, Brazil has formed going to give them subsidies while I remember just to get them off the ground hopefully make them a more useful ally we need to start coring this province I think no we don't because it's already been taken by French La Plata it's fantastic okay I think we're finally done so give it a bit of a rest I might put up our diplomatic reputation that's fine don't mind if we fall behind on diplomacy right that's all fine oh looks like Chinook has managed to seriously kick Spain's butt excellent good to know right so with that last piece of good news 
and with three colonial nations close to forming and a decent presence in South America, we really need to set our sights on India now, which was unexpected but definitely welcome. So, what's the plan going to be? I do want to see if we can get our navy big enough to carry an entire army. Which may not be right now. So seeing as the armies are still split for now, I'm going to bring our navy over. Try and send everyone over. In fact, hopefully not scooping up any trade fleets while we do it. Which is always the trick. really must call it a day. So we'll just leave them going. And yeah, so it's a bit unusual basically. The mission has given us a claim over in India and normally we would never be able to make one because, which is why I'm so <laughs> kind of drop everything because to make a claim you normally need to be in an adjacent province or at least in the sea and there's nowhere we can colonize that's anywhere near there so those claims may be permanent it did look like they were I couldn't see them on this list but it's a very very long list and if for some reason it turns out they're not permanent we will lose our opportunity to get a foothold in India permanently so this is certainly what I remember happening with England so we definitely need to drop everything and head over to India. Hoping these colonies will be able to deal with any uprising themselves. We should have a technological technological advantage over India anyway, over the Bahamis. Bahamanis? The military is at 20, which is actually much higher than anything else. So they're clearly pushing in the military. But we're on 23. So we are way ahead. So yeah, that's going to be for next time. But that was really good. I did want to get a foothold in South America. And while we didn't end up attacking <laughs> these two nations. Well, Technica is free. But that's more or less Great Britain behind those two. Thanks to the Inca, we have ended up with a much bigger presence there. So it's not such a bad thing if we give these colonies a chance to put down rebellions, re-establish themselves. I don't even know if we want to move our armies, to be honest. It depends if we need all three for India. If we could manage with just two, I might be willing to leave the armies here just to help with putting down rebellions. But anyway, we'll decide that next time. I've gone quite a bit longer than I intended to. But I'm quite pleased with how things have gone. We took these two tiny nations as well. Which is good because it hasn't upset anyone too much. <laughs> no coalitions forming this time, thankfully. And French Peru is now turning into a force to be reckoned with. Which is excellent. We've got a few more merchants. So we've got considerably richer. It's not obvious we're considerably richer because we're currently subsidising a whole bunch of our nations. And we mostly have plus three advisors. Mostly. In fact, let's get another one. So right, so we will have to be a little careful with our money with the plus three advisors, but I do think it's worth having them. Because it just pushes our technology and everything else we can use the monarch points for I mean these two we are way ahead of everyone I think diplomatic technology not so much because I've been doing ideas but yeah we'll probably actually carry on with quality ideas next because we're just so far ahead in military tech but it should make things quite handy actually this would be very handy helps us get more provinces in war it'll be handy in India so yeah we'll uh We'll deal with that next time. But yeah, it's going quite well. I was quite worried when the coalition formed, but it turned out to be a glitch. So yeah, that is brilliant. And we need to put our diplomats to work because they're not doing anything. So yeah, I will uh, leave it. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time.